What's going on guys and welcome to my top picks for July of 2023. If you're looking for some in-demand and trending products to get started with as soon as possible and capitalize on the following few weeks, this is the video for you. To help you get started and hit the ground running and make the most of the following few weeks, I'm going to be giving you every single piece of information you need to get started the second you finish watching this video. So I'm going to be showing you the Google Trends information behind these products so you can see just how in-demand they are. I'm going to be showing you where you can source these products from as well. I'm going to be giving you a copy and paste product description for every single one of these products. I'm going to be showing you the recommended retail price for these products so you know exactly what to sell them for and what sort of profits to expect. I'm going to be giving you my recommended Facebook ads targeting strategy. I'm going to be giving you my recommended Shopify store strategy. I'm going to be giving you 20 different Shopify store names to choose from to sell each of these products under. And I'm going to be showing you which countries these products are most in demand so you know exactly where to sell them as well. With that being said then guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this one and let's jump straight into product number one. So product number one is this inflatable paddle board. Now I'm going to be upfront and honest about this. The reason I wanted to include this in the video is because I went paddle boarding last week for the first time and it is one of the best things I have ever done. Not only that, it's a super high profit margin product and it is super in demand as well. So I don't think you'll have any trouble selling this one. As we work through this Google document and I show you the different supplier links, Google Trends information, product descriptions, all that good stuff. I want to give you guys a free copy of it as well. So if we can get this video to let's go for 75 likes. The previous video I did in June got 170 likes. So we should have no problem getting to 75. But the second we do, I will post a free link in the top comment below for you to get a free copy of this. So this is my UK based supplier. If you are watching this from anywhere else in the world, you do not need to worry. This product I've already checked is readily available from suppliers in Australia from suppliers in America and suppliers in Canada. These guys, however, are called Avasam and they specialize in stocking UK based products for dropshippers like us to take advantage of. So for example, in this case, we have this 10 foot inflatable stand up paddleboard that comes with all of the accessories, including a handy carry bag and it ships to the UK with a dispatch time of 48 hours. I know the reason why I really like Avasam not to take away too much from the topic of the video is the imagery that they provide along with the products is usually a lot higher quality than the imagery you will find on typical websites like AliExpress or CJ Dropshipping, making it a lot quicker to get started with. Let's jump into the Google Trends information then. We can see that paddle boarding was pretty much non-existent um, until this month here, so August of 2016. Since then, we can see every single summer months, every time we come into summer, it spikes massively in popularity, hitting its peak in sort of July, August time. Um, even in kind of like September, if I can get my cursor on it, um, it's still fairly popular. But if we go to the very latest data, we can see June of 2023, we're at a 60. So expect this to continue to grow in popularity over the next six to eight weeks. Meaning if you get started today, there's still a lot of potential to be had. Let's move down into the product descriptions then. Like I said, if we can get this video to 75 likes, I will put a free download link in the description below. So you can come into here, copy and paste it into your own store chop and change it to match to your own liking. So introducing the ultimate adventure companion. I won't read the entire thing. I just do the first paragraph. The 10 foot inflatable paddleboard designed for explorers and water enthusiasts alike. This versatile and portable paddleboard is ready to take your outdoor experiences to new heights. Let's keep going down then moving on to the next piece of information, which is the profit margins. So the cost of this product, Avasam do sell a different range of them. Middle of the road is sort of 150 pounds. I'm gonna do it in dollars just so it accommodates for the majority of people. The going rate for a decent paddleboard is in and around sort of 200 to 300 dollars so i've gone middle of the road at 250 which leaves a very healthy profit margin of about 100 dollars my facebook and store strategy then for this product um obviously when it comes to interests anything kind of outdoorsy related so outdoor water sports camping water skiing paddleboarding kayaking hiking adventures all that sort of thing i would also recommend trying out google ads for products like this as well given the price of this product you may struggle to convert people on that very first impression on facebook because people aren't necessarily looking for a product product to buy on Facebook unless of course they're in the marketplace so you could potentially just narrow down to that one single placement however where the true money to be made in my own opinion is on Google Ads because that is where people go to look for things to buy so you can put yours at the top of the list as long as you've got a really decent and slick website then I think you're onto a winner as for the sort of brand I recommend for this product go for an outdoor water sports store so there's lots and lots of other products you can add to your store like kayaks and bags that sort of thing and as for the names then here's 20 different names you can choose from so Aquaventure 
Adventures, Water Wonder, Wave Rider, Paddle Pro. I really like that, Paddle Pro. Um, Aqua Adventures, Paddle Adventures. Um, all these good names that you can take your pick from. Just remember though to check the availability for all of these domain names before finalizing your choice, before making any design choices. As for my recommended countries to target, then go for the places that are currently experiencing really nice weather. So include the United States, the UK and Australia in your targeting. Run some tests, see which ones you get the best results from and then narrow down and double down on the most profitable areas. Moving on to product number two is we have this baby float. So the reason why I wanted to include this is because I actually have one of these things myself, not obviously for myself, but I do actually have one of these things and they are pretty good. Like they legitimately do what they say they're gonna do um, and they are handy to have as well in the fact that they keep the sun off of the person using it, which is super important for young children. Um, and they also are pretty safe as well. Obviously you wouldn't just chuck your kid in the pool and leave them to float around on their own. It needs to be used with parental supervision, of course. However, the way it kind of secures itself or attaches itself to the person using it, as you can see there with the different straps, um, they are a pretty good product. Given the time of year as well, if we just jump on to Google Trends, we can see Baby Float is currently on a breakout, approaching the most popular it has been um, since 2004 in the last 19 years or so. So I think it's pretty safe to say that lots and lots of people are looking for a product um, like this one. Let's move down into the product description then. So introducing the Baby Float with Canopy and SPF 50 protection, um, that's a key marketing angle, something that you should point out in your ad creative. And um, the perfect companion for your little one's aquatic adventures, designed with your baby's safety and comfort in mind. This inflatable float ensures a fun and protected experience in the water, a really well-worded um, introductory paragraph in my opinion. As we move down into the profit margins then, so we saw we can get this thing delivered for $19.91. My recommended retail price would be in and around sort of $40, leaving a decent profit margin of $20.08. Strategies for this product then. So when it comes to interests, obviously parents with children of a certain age and you can target things like pools, swimming, beach, holiday, vacation, all those sorts of things which are related to positions in which people would need a product like this. Go with supply content to begin with. I've just shown you a video ad which is pretty decent. You could chop that up, put your own spin on it, put some subtitles on it to certainly make it worthwhile testing. Once you've validated and it works, then progress onto you. UGC, original UGC. As for the brand, I would recommend a baby products store for swimming and travel with a specialism um, in that. So as for some names that you could put to that, we have Baby Float Haven, Tiny Splash, I really like that, Tiny Splash. Floaty Babies, Baby Boy, I really like that as well because it's kind of like a spin on words. Um, and Aqua Bubs, Floaty Tots, Baby Splash, Aqua Babies, Floaty Fun, um, some pretty decent names in there for you to pick from. Of course, remember to check availability and as for my recommended countries you can pretty much target anyone for this one because it also includes people going on vacation so we have us canada uk and australia moving on to product number three is this dry bag again what gave me the idea and inspiration for this was when i went paddle boarding last week this is a must have product it the clue is in the name, it's a waterproof bag. You can fill it full of all your wet gear to keep it separate from all of your dry gear because once your dry gear gets wet, you are in trouble, it is game over. What we can see from this though is it's super small, super lightweight, um, and it can act as a buoyancy aid as well should you need it to do that. Um, and this is again, quite a nice video which you could use to advertise the products with, just to show the different features of how it works, how it folds up, that sort of thing, how it keeps whatever's inside dry, or how it keeps whatever's inside wet and keeps it inside from leaking out. It's also a relatively cheap product. You can go kind of at the smallest for two liters, all the way up to a 30, 30 liter, which is 7.88, and that does include the free shipping with a 15 day on time guarantee. Google Trends wise then for this product, um, no surprise, it's a pretty consistent seller all year round because even in the summer months in the UK, we are prone to a bit of rain. Um, hence why you can see it's always in and around a 50, which is actually a good sign because this could be a product which even through the winter months and all year round, you can sell consistently. But we can see obviously as we come into the summer months when people are getting in the lakes, people are getting in the pools, that sort of thing. Um, this is when the demand grows for this product. As a product description then, so introducing the camp dry bag, your ultimate companion for outdoor adventures, whether you're embarking 
working on a thrilling hike, camping trip, or kayaking expedition, this durable and reliable dry bag is designed to keep your gear safe and protected from the elements. That's one of the beauties with this product as well. So there's so many different niches and applications in which it applies to fishing, kayaking, paddleboarding, camping, hiking, all of those sorts of things. There's lots and lots of different audiences for you to test with this. As for profit margins in, we see even for the bigger one, we can get that for about $8. My recommended retail price for this is gonna be $30, which I think is slightly on the cheap end. Like decent camping gear is not cheap, it's quite expensive. So even at this kind of bottom end, we're still with a, we're still left with a pretty healthy profit margin, in my opinion, of about $22. Moving on to my Facebook and store strategy. Um, obviously, when it comes to interest, anything kind of outdoor activity related, those niches I mentioned a minute ago, so camping, hiking, water sports, etc. As for my recommended platforms and creatives when it comes to Facebook, stick to carousel image ads. You could also use that supplier ad. You could split test the two and see which performs better. And then again, narrow and double down on what's working. And I would also try some Google ads too, because again, you're gonna be tagged and you can put your products in front of those people that are looking for this exact thing. As for product names then, so we have Dry Guard, Aqua Shield, I really like that. Um, Dry Haven, Dry Safeguard, Aqua Fortress, I really like that um, for a name as well. We have Dry Pro, again, another nice name, Dry Vault, Aqua Guard, Dry Haven, Aqua Armor. Lots of cool names in there for you guys to choose from. As for my recommended, again, you could pretty much go global with this. However, I typically start with the big four, so I always recommend that UK, US, Canada, Australia. Any country that has water sports is potentially a customer base for you. Moving into product number four then. So this is more of a brand idea rather than an actual product idea. So I'm just gonna open up the Google Trends information for this. And one thing I found when I was doing my product research is there's so many different types of flip-flops and sandals out there. And I think it goes without saying. So this obviously is a proven product. We've all seen this before. Um, it's done the rounds, a really good seller. Same for these as well. Um, there's a big known brand called Coddies, I think they're called Coddies. They built a pretty decent sized brand in around selling these products. This was something I also found on AliExpress. So I think there's definitely room for a company to come in and sell these like wacky flip flops. Um, and the name I actually come up with was Funky Flip Flops, which I think is a great opportunity for somebody who has an eye and a passion for this sort of thing. I'll show you the Google Trends information. It's not really too relevant. I mean, it's pretty obvious um, as we come into summer. Um, UK 2004 to present, we're approaching peak popularity because more people wear flip-flops during the summer than they do in the winter. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty obvious, right? As for a brand description then, so I went with Funky Flops. Welcome to Funky Flops, where footwear meets wild imagination. Our brand is all about adding a playful twist to your step with our collection of funky flip-flops in the shape of different animals and styles. Get ready to unleash your wild side and make a fashion statement like no other. So it's the kind of website or brand someone would go to, have a look and go to, to find something that they've never seen before something interesting and away from the kind of traditional flip-flop let's go down into my recommended facebook and store strategy then so when it comes to interests on facebook again pretty kind of obvious beach pool vacation animals outdoors summer um, all that sort of thing stick with carousel ads there's no real reason to have a video ad for products like this in the beginning test it the cheapest and quickest way possible prove to yourself that the idea works, validate the idea. A single image shows you exactly what this product is. And once you've done that, you could then progress into original and UGC content. As for names for this store then, so we have Flip Flop, Fiesta, Funky Feet, Flop Frenzy, Flip Steria, Funky Flip, Souls of Fun, Flip Flopping, so on and so forth. You get the gist. Funky fun names um, for funky fun flip-flops. As for the countries, anywhere with warm weather, really, like I mentioned before, um, I like the big four. You can obviously always double check or double cross reference this against Google Trends in the country that you want to sell it in. Um, so again, UK, US and Australia. Let's move down into product number five. Then we have camping bed. This is a camping bed that's kind of out of the ordinary. It's not a typical kind of style of camping bed that you'll see in many shops. And that is why I also wanted to include it. Let's open up the supplier link so you can see exactly where I'm sourcing this thing from. Let's show you the Google Trends information as well. We'll start with the Google Trends information. 
so you can see just how in demand a product like this is we can see um, people go camping in the summer here in the uk so this is where most people start looking for camping beds and buying camping beds let's jump on to avasam then so this is another avasam products meaning we can get it delivered to our customers in 48 hours it does include tracking and it does include free shipping as well so it allows us to take advantage of that and offer a real good service to our customers what i really like about this is this foldable design so this is it in its full glory has a cup holder a magazine holder that sort of thing but it folds up into the this one tidy neat and tidy package which trust me is not to be underestimated this is super important when you're going camping because one of the biggest hurdles is having space for all of your gear let's take a look at the product description then that I put together for this so introducing a camp bed a revolution in camping comfort say goodbye to uncomfortable nights spent tossing and turning on hard surfaces our innovative camping bed combines the style and function of a camping chair with the ultimate comfort of a bed providing you with the perfect sleeping solution for your outdoor adventures a really nice introducing paragraph in my opinion let's go down into the profit margins then so we saw we're looking at about 46 34 camping gear good quality camping gear is not cheap i definitely think you could sell this for about 80 dollars. i think you probably get a bit more for that depending on how well received it is and how high a quality is even towards this lower end you're still left with a pretty decent profit margin of $33.65 as for my recommended strategy then so interests are pretty self-explanatory outdoor camping hiking fishing paddle boarding all that sort of thing anything which requires people to be outside and stay outside overnight they're going to be your target market I would definitely stick with just supplier content again Avasam has some nice images to show how well it folds up that sort of thing and once you've validated that idea you can then move on to original UGC get some camping enthusiasts and influencers on board to create some really nice content for you for the store then definitely go with a branded camping product store um, here's some names for you then so campscape outdoor Door Oasis, I really like that one. Um, Wild Wanderer, Camp Venture, Trailblaze, Happy Campers, Camp Haven, Nature Hook, Camp Bound, Adventure Rice, um, Adventure Rise, Camp Masters. Um, again, you get the point. Lots and lots of different names for you guys to choose from. Trail Trekker is personally one of my favorites there. As for the country, then just to finish off, UK, US, Canada, and Australia would be my go to ones. Pretty much anywhere where camping at the moment is high in demand or high in popularity. And obviously, you can use Google Trends to check that and so with that being said guys that's my top five picks for july of 2023 if you have stuck with me with this long i just want to say a personal thank you i really do appreciate the support on the channel so like i mentioned earlier in the video if you want to get yourself a copy of this google document make sure you hit that like button the second we get to 75 likes i will post a link where you can get yourself a free copy of what i've just worked through in this video if you have any comments questions video suggestions any of that sort of thing post it down below i read every single comment so if there is something you need help with make sure you make the most of the comment section while we don't get many people interacting because i read every single one and i will get back to you thanks for watching guys hope this video helps you out and i'll see you in the next one on friday cheers